It's like I can't think of ways that straight. Um, so I was fortunate enough, I think that Mark was, Mark was one of the first people who, who one of the first losses that I really, really felt. Um, I guess I'm still privileged enough and still young enough to not have lost a whole lot of people who are close to me. Um, but I was particularly fortunate to have the love of a partner to go through that with. Um, and while he had only met Mark, I think maybe once or twice, um, it made a big difference. And I think that, um, so what I'm trying to say is, is that I am not quite sure sometimes what I would do if I, if I didn't have this person in my life. His name is Andres, and I tried to say it properly. He still thinks that I should learn how to pronounce his name properly. I don't understand why he doesn't think it's charming that I Americanize the R Andres. I think it's just one of my little quirks, right? But Andres, I'm trying really hard. Um, but I mean, so, so he has lots of little little things that I, I find very charming that I think maybe like maybe not everyone would understand. One of them that I learned um, very soon after we became getting serious is that uh, became getting serious <laughs> began getting serious um, is that he has sleep apnea. Um, <laughs> Uh, this is not a secret. Anyone who, I mean, anyone who has like put him up in their home or shared a hotel room or anything knows this about him, right? Um, so I'm gonna put it on last because YOLO. Um, he, he is quite a snorer. And I remember when we first became serious and we started, you know, sharing a bed as people do when they're very serious and they love each other very much. Um, he was very embarrassed about this. Um, and I remember that I, I, uh, it was difficult at first, um, but I think eventually it became sort of this, um, I was like, you know, I just, it's comforting and soothing. I think I was still also trying really hard at that point when I was saying this, but I was like, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like the ocean. <laughs> it's, like, it's like having white noise, right? Yeah. I'm, I, now I just sort of elbow him and tell him you're snoring. Turn on your side, please. Um, <laughs> you're such a bitch. I love you. <laughs> but uh, the time that we spend, go, um, and this is like not a sexual thing at all, so don't go there. But the time that we spend sort of going to bed each night it has become sort of the most special time of my day, my most cherished time. Uh, we have like a little ritual and we, and we always sort of like, well he more than me because sometimes I'm really grumpy, but he makes it a point to make me laugh every single night before I go to bed. No matter what kind of mood I'm in, he will not rest until he's made me laugh. Um, sometimes when I'm really tired, I just have to like, Take a laugh just to laugh. But mostly I don't. He, he, he's really good at making me laugh. Um, so, this is for my, my sleeping, snoring angel, Donut. <laughs> And the vine, the flower, and the vine. 
let me breathe.